Hi, so I'm going to show you several ways to remove wraps. Um, let's start with, um, let's actually start with this. So the new um, Hydrate Water Based Removal Wipes. Um, I like these because you can travel with them, like you don't need a remover. They're great and they're very thin and there's, I think like 40 in a pack. So I'm actually gonna put this one back in because um, I'm gonna show you about eight different ways and I'm gonna try and bookmark them um, or at least tag like where, um, where which one is. So um, we'll just start with this. So this is my thumb and you can see the grow out, like I've had these on for a while. And then the brown is uh, spray paint. So um, anyway, I'm just gonna uh, break the seal. Maybe I shouldn't have painted them on. <laughs> I'm gonna break the seal and then you can use the wipe and you just kind of gently let it break down the adhesive. Um, maybe maybe it'll take it off a little bit of the paint. So it looks like I'm forcing it, but I'm not. I'm just trying to like get the massage the... Oh, look at that. I got two. See, they're super thin and I even thought... So you can kind of see through it. If you can't see through it, then you have uh, more than one. So the wipes can be used for uh, wrap removal. It can be used for lacquer removal. I'm gonna put this one back in here. This is my personal one, so. Um, It's taking my spray paint off. <laughs> anyway, the reason I like these is uh, for travel. They were great for um, like I think you can probably actually throw them in your carry-on. I don't know if they would count as liquids, but just to be on the safe side, I would put it in your quart bag, but it's uh, great for travel. Or if you're going somewhere in the car, you can use this. And then um, it does have a little bit of um, oil in it. Uh, I'm trying to remember what oil it is. Um, so you wouldn't want to put wraps on right after this. Um, you want to um, wipe with alcohol um, because there is a little bit of moisturizing um, oil. So this is great like if you're going to take them off and you're just going to um, kind of moisturize your nails for a day or so before you put, the, um, put anything back on it. And then, of course, you want to prep uh, whichever way um, you prep. So you can see it's just taken a little bit for the um, for it to soak in and break down the adhesive. Um, but it's working great. And you see, I'm not pulling on the wrap. I'm not pulling. Well, there it was, but um, you just want to work it off. Boop, there it is. Okay. Uh, and then you can, you can use it multiple times. I'm going to actually take the lacquer off of my toes with that. Okay, so that's um, one way. There's another way 
and um, I'm firing up the little heater. Um, so you can actually um, heat up your wrap. You still break the My cord is not super long, so I'm trying to do this. So you can break the seal, and you heat up the wrap, and just see how it's um, um, it's heating up the adhesive. So it's just coming off in the same way that it goes on. So just like that. So you can do that. You can, uh, you know, use the wipe to get off any uh, adhesion, adhesive if there's any left. Um, okay. Then there are a couple of methods that are pretty similar. So it's just a matter of um, what. Uh, you want to use. Um, okay. So, uh, brush. So, same thing. Uh, break the seal somewhere. And these have been on for a while. So, um, okay. Break the seal. This is a brush. Uh, you just got to make sure. Um, this is the, not, uh, you know, Jamboree's lacquer remover. Um, so just make sure, uh, like I think some of the brushes with the plastic handles don't do super great with the lacquer remover, like it'll actually eat them up and then your bristles will fall out. So, um, this one does just fine. I've used it before. So all I'm doing is working the, um, brush and the remover under there, um, I could um, show you. And it just takes a little bit of time for the remover to um, break down the adhesive. Um, I think the first time I didn't have much uh, remover on my brush. So some people um, do uh, from one side to the other side, like what I'm doing. Uh, some people will start at the back and work their way to the front. I think what tends to happen when you do that is when you get to the tip, you get like a little impatient and you um, then pull the wrap when it's still um, attached to your nail. Um, and then because the tips are the oldest um, part of your nail, uh, then sometimes uh, there's a little bit of an issue. Okay, so you can, I'm not sure if you can see how far the brush is under there. And I'm just slowly working it in there. I don't actually very often use this method, so um, I 
kind of forget if I need to dip more. But so there it goes. Came off, no pulling. No pulling whatsoever. Uh, okay. So uh, you can do that. You can do. Um, So you can do like a disposable lip gloss wand, same principle, you get uh, some remover on there and uh, break the seal. So I used to try and do this with a Q-tip, but a Q-tip retains too much of the remover and um, and then it gets everywhere. Um, I actually kind of like the lip gloss wand um, because it retains enough of the lacquer remover uh, that I don't have to re-dip it. Um, so that black spot that you're seeing on my nail is I fell down when I was hiking and I hit my nail and it was way down here at the base and it's growing out. Uh, didn't damage my wraps at all. They looked amazing. Uh, so, okay. So that's this. Um, I reuse it, you know. I don't like to put things in the landfill. Um, so I'll reuse it. I can clean it if I want. Um, okay. So... I'm going to show you um, a couple of methods with uh, oil if you don't want to use the uh, wrap remover. Although this does, does not have acetone in it. Let's see, non-acetone. So I'm, I'm pretty careful with um, chemicals and um, I'm personally fine with using that. Um, okay, so I have this little jar. Let me move the camera. Um, and it has jojoba in it. So jojoba is actually not a not a oil. It's a liquid wax, and it will solidify at some point. The reason I like it is it's actually closest to our body's own natural oils, so it tends to sink in. It's like really great for your cuticles. Um, it also doesn't go rancid because it's not an oil, it's a wax. Um, so you can do this a couple of ways. So you can um, break the seal. Oops. Break the seal. And you can actually just dip your finger in there. So typically what I do, so this is a glass jar. So I'll usually heat it up in the microwave, um, but because I didn't want to be running back and forth um, to the microwave while I'm doing this video, I have this little cup hot plate. Um, let me move the camera, get a little closer. Um, and so oil breaks down the adhesive slower than the wrap and lacquer remover. Um, so you just have to be a little bit more patient with it. Uh, sorry, got my big hands in the way. Um, but it actually, and it's, and the, the having the oil warm um, helps break down the adhesive. So you can see that actually wasn't very, um, it didn't take very long to do that. Um, so I am going to, um, but the oil is a little bit messier, you know, but like I said, it's good for you. Um, you can actually just rub that into your uh, cuticles and your skin around your nails. Um, it's good for it. Okay, let's go over to this hand. So just keep in mind I'm right hand dominant. So if this looks awkward, it's, you know, it's because it's, uh, 
I'm using my non-dominant hand. Okay, so break the seal. And then I'm just going to peel that back so you can see it. So this is a dental floss remover. Um, you've probably seen lots of it. You can, um, I don't think I've ever used this with the wrap remover, so I don't know if that would do anything to the plastic or not. Um, I think people have used it. Um, but so you can kind of see there's a little bit of oil on the um, floss. And so you just put it under there and you slowly work the flosser in the oil and um, you're not forcing it. Uh, you're just uh, getting it under there and the oil is breaking down the adhesive. And if you need to, um, you know, dip it back in, get a little bit more oil. And just slowly, slowly work your way. And this is another one where I've also seen people like get to the tip and kind of force it. Uh, so. And I'm just kind of going around like all of the surface area because the more angles I get that oil under there, the more it's like able to break down the adhesive um, in multiple directions. Okay, Let's see, come off. Super easy. So I can rub the oil and around the skin, on my nail. It's too much, I can just wipe it off. It will soak in. Jojoba is really amazing stuff. And it is, I think, one of the ingredients in the um, cuticle oil that Jamberry has. So, um, sometimes though I feel like the oil removal leaves a little bit of the adhesive residue um, I could be wrong. So, um, I have a little, um, jar of lemon essential oil, and I have been told that, um, a few drops in with your oil, well, it smells really good, um, will also help to break down the adhesive. And uh, some people actually use it for um, removing uh, gel. Okay, so um, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going, oh, that smells really good, I got to tell you. <laughs> Even if it doesn't help, it smells good. Um, okay, so I'm just going to break the seal there. So uh, I have another um, lip gloss wand. Um, and um, I'm just going to use that to uh, get the oil in there. So I have to brace my finger because um, It's kind of funny how uh, even though my left hand is not my dominant hand, I don't actually have to brace my finger. So I don't know if it's a coordination thing or or whatever. Um, So let me look at my list. So I did the hydrate wraps, I did the heat, I did floss and oil, brush and remover, and oil and lemon oil. 
So these are, uh, there may be uh, some other removal methods. Well, you know, there's the one you're not supposed to do, which is just peel it off. Um, and I'm, I'm going to plead the fifth on whether I've ever done it or not. <laughs> so, um, if you have weak nails or nails that flake, um, don't peel them off. Um, and, you know, maybe look into uh, the reason why. You know, maybe there's a, your nails tell so much about you. Uh, it may be um, not hydrated. It may be some medication you're on. It may be um, a nutritional imbalance or a hormonal, hormonal imbalance. Um, listen to your nails because they do tell you a lot of stuff. So you can see that this, this one kind of takes probably a little bit longer. Um, I think if I soaked my nail in the oil, it would go a little faster. And just keep in mind, I'm not, um, I'm not forcing the wrap. And usually the middle is stuck a little bit better because, well, for one reason, the edges have been exposed to water, oil, you know, whatever you got going on. Um, like, this is so weird to have my hand twisted like this. So you notice the, you know, the other half of it is going faster and that's just because the oil is like weeping down uh, in there and breaking the adhesive up. Okay. So there is that. Um, I think that's it. Uh, that's all I have on my list. Like I said, there may be a few other ways to do it. Um, I'm happy to demo something if you want. Uh, if you want it demoed, um, thanks for watching.